Try guild vendors. I also like that you can have multiple guild leaders if you want for your guild. So there's not you can have like multiple, it doesn't have to be just one. So this is who you talk to <clears throat> if uh Okay, the guild registry and guild stuff there. And you have the auction house in here. Which makes things really simple, I will show you. Well let's this sword. So you'd want to go. Oh no! Did I change things? So I'm gonna sell this, and it gives you like a recommended price, like what it's going for, and you can sell it instantly with this. So you instantly sold it, which is nice. Or you could list it for a little bit more and have it sit there if you wanted to. But it, sometimes it's nice just selling it instantaneously, not having to worry about it. Okay, so we have... Let's go over here. back away. <laughs> was way too close. Um, blind auction means that the seller sets a price, but the bidders don't see the price. So the first to bid enough wins, but you can have someone overbid just to make sure they get it. Riskier. Oh, that sounds weird. I don't know if I would like that, but it's each their own. points of interest in this section. This looks like it would be dangerous. It's very steep. I feel sorry for anyone who's in a wheelchair. And all, all this confetti. Okay. Just here, here, let this do here, and I'll put an interest there. Also, at the auction house, you can list something like that you're wanting and what you're willing to pay for it. So, if someone has it and they see it, they can sell it to you if they want to. There's a vista up here. Climb up here. Look how tiny I look. been a while I've, and I've never been good at jumping quests in my entire life. sculpture though.
this way. This is like the circus part of town. They have like different acts going on. They have animals. Okay, we'll go get this point of interest and this waypoint. Do you think this was the game that you would like? I know you don't like them because they destroyed your precious game that you loved. Because like I said, I have a spare copy that I would give you if you wanted to play and there's no subscription. I know you're really into Star Wars The Old Republic right now, which I am too. I'm still playing it. I just I needed a break. I like how like these floating rocks can defy gravity, but yet like those moving stars and moons in that um, greenery room couldn't. Slip. It's nice being able to see things on better graphics. Thank you. We're almost done. It's nice. So we'll get this way shrine. Way shrine. I keep calling them way shrines. I don't Hello. mean to. How's business? Stroll. Yep. See ya. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna double back. It's kind of refreshing not having mounts. I know a lot of people complain, but I almost feel like like the mounts is what ruined World of Warcraft. Like I guess like the ground mounts were nice, but flying mounts like really ruined a bunch of stuff. So having to run everywhere, like you really get to explore the map versus just zooming through on a mount. And then there's the waypoints, like you can use that whenever you wanted to. I need to sneeze so bad. It's like a little gauntlet arena whenever there's a, like the Queen's Pavilion. It was a really cool event. I'm not for sure what they've done with it since then, if you're, if they still will randomly have one going on. Okay, so there is a vista up here. And usually the vistas and points of interest in towns are rather easy to get to. That's the Queen Pavilion. So 
like a gauntlet arena down there. Sometimes there's events and there's like massive amounts of mobs that you go down there and fight. It's pretty fun. We have 17 out of 21 points of interest, 11 out of 13 waypoints, and 3 out of 6 vistas. That's one thing I don't like about using the webcam is whenever I need to see something up close, I have to lean all the way in and it gets really annoying. But there's not much I can do about that. So there's a vista up here that we need to get to, which we're going to go through this door. And it takes you to it inside on the top layer. You go down this hallway. It's if once you go through the portal, it's immediately to your left. And you come out here. Carefully walk out here. And voila, you got your vista. Beautiful. And then you can just go back the way that you came. Or you could jump off the roof, but it might kill you. Another thing about this game is, no matter what level you are, you're zoned down to the level of the area. So let's say you're level 80, and you come to a level 8 area, you'll be downscaled to level 8. So that way you're the same level with your party, which is really cool. I really like that ability. So like, no one can power level you. Your friends can still come play with you without them power leveling you. up from just exploring. I think I don't want the sword. Sets. 